Okay, our board is powered up by the USB cable. You can see the LED on on the Arduino Nano, it's powered up. And on our HC06 Bluetooth module, the LED is solid, so we're, we are connected, we are paired to our app. And our app is a little remote control robot app through Bluetooth. And we could actually send some commands here. You could have forward, reverse, left, right, stop. And there's eight other control buttons that you could actually map to the I.O. on the Arduino Nano and have whatever whatever function you want on your robot. But basically, this is showing the basic left, right, forward, reverse, and stop. Now another way to build this circuit would be to use an Arduino Uno board, such as this, together with a shield like this. Now this shield has a Bluetooth module similar to the HC06 with four relays instead of just the, the four GPIO outputs from the Arduino Nano. And you have four LEDs to indicate which relay is being activated. And you could run the same firmware that you're running on the Nano. You could run on the Uno together with this shield. So this is just another alternative way of running this circuit. Here's a schematic diagram of the little robot controller. So there's the Arduino Nano. And you can see the USB power port there. It's being powered by the USB. And I'm using D10, D11, D12, D13 for the GPIO outputs, which feeds the four LEDs with current limiting resistors, 330 ohm resistors, for your up, down, left, and right. Now, the Bluetooth module is powered by the Nano, the output of the Nano, the 5 volt output, into the Nano. Now, inside the Bluetooth module, there's a 3.3 regulator. Cuts it down to 3.3 to power the module itself. So the output of the Bluetooth module will be 3.3 volts. That's the TX output, the serial output, which the Nano will recognize. But the input to the HC06 Bluetooth module should be 3.3 volts. And the Nano is putting out 5 volts, so we need this voltage divider here to cut it down to 3.3 volts so everybody's happy. So that's basically the schematic there. It's pretty simple. And I'll just do a little scan of the little robot controller board. I'll scan it so you can see the wiring if you're building it on the breadboard. It's a quick scan.